Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a one box break of 2019 Panini Prime Racing. Random number block break number six. At the end of the break, we'll randomize a Black Friday pack to somebody. There you go, you can get a little bonus right there. Thanks to these folks right here, and thanks to the numbers right here, let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Brad down to Tice. Six and a two, eight times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Sean, uh, sorry, I missed your question, Sean. Do I think all three champions retain their belts tomorrow night? What champions have lost their belts? Or they retain their belts, I guess they already have them. Leather belt. Brad with zero, Michael with four, John with eight, Michael with five, Brian with one, Brad with six, last spot mojo, John with seven and nine, Brad with three, Tights with two. Brad, you'll get any and all redemptions in this particular box, including one of one redemptions. Let's sort by column B. I doubt there's going to be any trades, right? So I guess we'll just print and rip. People don't trade. Anything. I don't watch the UFC, not not because I don't like it, but I don't know. I just haven't really, I don't have the hard drive space <laughs> to log in, all of that. But I say yes, yeah. The, uh, the champions retain their titles, retain their belts. You heard it here first, folks. I mean, there's a reason why they're champions, Sean. The reason why they're champions. All right, now Brandon's, Brandon's all wrong. What, is, what, what does Brandon know about UFC? He says he's got Colby and... Yeah, I mean, I guess. Those are strong competitors too, Brandon. They're, they're certainly fighting for their chance. But the champions are champions for a reason. Do I sound convincing? <laughs> There's the number block right here. Thanks, everybody. I know nothing about UFC. Don't listen to me. Listen to Brandon. What do you think, Sean? It's just a one-box break, right? Yeah, just a one-box break. I like this prime racing, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're going to lead off with some Austin Dillon. Four out of ten. That goes to Michael Calder at number four. Where are my what top lures do I need for this? Maybe some of these? These. Sure. All right, nice Austin Dillon for Michael. We've got Jimmy Johnson. Race used fire suit, dual relic, 20 out of 25. Brad with number zero. We got Alex Bowman. Ooh, three out of 20. Bowman Jumbo is coming up a little bit later tonight, folks. Nunez is fighting t tomorrow? I guess so. That's what, that's what the gang's saying. I don't know anything about UFC. Uh, you think me and you could fight her, beat her? Two on one? The both of us? I like tag team? So. No, I think no, I, don't, I think I think we are not... Yeah, our attack would not be coordinated enough to make that happen. Yeah, we'd have the game plan. It'd be like a year of training. 16 out of 25? Well, I could still fight Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, you you think so? Yeah. He's just getting older. Well, yeah. Brad with I've six. Had, I've had a year of training, too. So. Nick Jaspi. Uh, you, this is this is a classic Jaspi debate. This has been going on for years. Five years, probably. Probably since we I'd first have, started. Like, top-tier training. If Nick Jaspi had a year of top-tier training, yeah. could Nick 
beat Mike Tyson, and what were the parameters? So like, it's like a twelve round fight. Yeah, like a championship. Would you knock him out? Is yeah. that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Nick would knock him out. Nick is pretty tall. He's he's got some length. I think I have the reach over him. I think you could. You might have that length. Hats off, Eyelets. Four out of six, Clint Boyer. I probably would too. Man, no? A year. Sean, you you've you've seen him in person when you visited a, the shop. I need to build my camp up. That's what I need. Yeah, you need a hype camp. Yeah. Michael Calder with number four. We've got eleven out of fourteen. Kaz Grala. That's his sponsor right there. Scream? Hot Scream, the spicy ice cream. It's wild. He's an off-road racer too. No, Jeff says Nick would have to go to prison and get tougher. I don't know if he had. There's some top-notch boxing trainers here in Los Angeles. That goes number one, Brian Bledsoe. We've got Kurt Busch, Kyle's brother. One out of ninety-nine. That's another one for Brian Bledsoe. Tyson would walk in on Nick, destroy his kidneys without even untucking his chin. What are you talking about? How old Tyson now? Isn't he like... 52? 52. Tyson. We started that when he was 48. Nick is a strapping young man. Ooh, Richard Petty. Wow. 7 out of 25 legacy autograph. Richard Petty. That is nice. And that's for number seven. That goes to John McCall. There you go, John. Nice. And let's give away, and we'll we'll give this to one person in the break too. You might go to Daytona 500. We'll give it to the person who wins the Black Friday pack. Let's go back to the screen right here. Let's fire up another uh, clean set of dice right here and a blank list. Let's grab everyone's names. Name on top. Look at the Black Friday pack. After uh, 11 times, 6 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 and final time. After 11 times, we got Brad. There you go, Brad. You'll get a uh, Black Friday football pack, and plus you'll get that little NASCAR card right there. Maybe you'll end up at Daytona 500. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you for the next break. Bye-bye.